In this section, we are going to quickly go over the Q-tip technique, which is basically a very easy and simple way to have an eraser, a, a painting eraser, however you want to think about that. It is a quick way to fix a mistake if you can get to the mistake in a short period of time. So what we're gonna do, I'm going to take my brush, and if you wanna do this with me at home, you're welcome to, it doesn't matter what brush or what color you use. I am just going to put some paint up on the canvas and show you how to erase it. So the number one tip that I would give you with this technique is one, you have to get to the paint within about 60 seconds for this to work really well. Acrylic paint usually starts to set about 60 seconds and about five minutes or so later, it's usually pretty hard set on there. So I'm going to show you what it would look like to take something off in about a minute or less of time. And then I'll wait a few minutes and show you what it would be like to take something off that's been sitting for a few minutes. The, the second tip then, so get to it quickly is the first tip. And the second tip is if you have paint in the background, let's say you've already painted your background and you made a mistake on top of that background layer, you are going to want to be careful with your pressure as you're pushing because you could bring up that first layer of paint. You could erase the background color, which isn't a big deal. You could always paint over it, but that's just something to think about as you're using this technique. So I'm going to get some black paint and I'm just going to make a line on my canvas. So let's say whatever I just did here, I did not want to do. What I will do, I will grab my Q-tip. It doesn't have to be name brand. It can be any kind of Q-tip. I'm going to grab an end that's clean. I'm going to dip it into my water glass and I'm going to squeeze it over my water glass so a big drip of water comes out. I don't want to put a big drip of water right on my canvas. I'm just going to squeeze it off. So now I have a clean, wet Q-tip end. I'm going to come up to my canvas and with one swoop, as much as I can get, I'm going to try to take off as much as possible. So now that this end of the Q-tip is dirty, I'm not going to use this again. I'm going to turn it over to the new end, dip it in the water, squeeze it out. So there's no water, you know, not a big drip in here. Then I'm going to come up to the canvas and after I've got most of the paint off on the first side, I'm going to kind of scrub at it, starting off with light pressure and then getting, pushing harder and harder as needed. And right now I'm pretty much just trying to release that paint from the canvas. So I still have a gray kind of smudge, that's okay. Just scrubbing and releasing. And then for the last go, again, I'm using a clean end of the Q-tip. I squeezed it so the water was out and then I'm gonna come through and take off as much of the gray as I can. This was a pretty good erase. There's just a tiny, 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 tiny little bit of smudging on the canvas, but that's really not much. And I could paint right over that, no problem. And if this was on a background color, I'm sure I couldn't even see it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another line, another mark, and I'm gonna let that sit for a little while, maybe about two minutes, I'll time it, and then we'll come back and I will see how much of it I can get off. Okay, at this point, I've waited about two minutes for this line to dry on my canvas. Again, I'm going to start with the clean end of a Q-tip. I'm going to dip it into the water, squeeze it out, and then I'm gonna come up and try to, again, start with the lightest amount of pressure and try to get up as much as you can. So this is waiting for about two minutes. It's actually releasing pretty well. The air movement in your room, whatever room you're in, the amount of paint you use and how many layers of paint is all going to, to determine how long of a time it takes your paint to set. So it's going to be different for everyone. But what I, get, what I did again is I started with light pressure. I worked off as much of it as I could. And then I came in with a new Q-tip, dipped in the water, squeezed it out, coming back in to give that second round of pressure. You can see this one kind of stayed within the within the canvas bits a little bit, which is okay. And then with the other end, I'm just gonna kind of clean it up a little bit. So this is waiting for two, almost two minutes or maybe even a little longer. And most of it still came up. So this is really good technique. And if you wait a lot longer than that, let's say you went throughout your whole painting and you didn't notice that you had a mistake, you can still try this technique and see what happens. 
if something happened where it is it has been a really long time and you can't use this technique to get rid of any of the paint, you always have the option with acrylics to paint over. Or you can hide it with an element if you wanted to add something over top of whatever your mistake was. There's a lot of options to fix mistakes in acrylic painting.